distinctions that we fight for and with actually don't exist. Say it in our own mind. And so a simple practice that almost any Buddhist, and specifically the Zen lineage, which is the one that I hold and represent, uh, will engage in is the practice of silence, contemplative silence. And from the point of view of our particular lineage, if to some degree that contemplative intelligence has not been awake, then we suffer. We suffer from the effects of our own entrapment and conditioning. And so I thought it might be a nice thing for us to just take a second, and please sit straight with me if you would for a moment. <laughs> and then, you know, words fail. And by the way, also, most mystic and contemplative traditions, it's not strictly a Buddhist thing. If you look at Christian mysticism, <coughs> Jewish mysticism, over and over, the gate is silence. And so as we take just a second, please bring your attention to your breath. And please just feel the breath enter the body and leave the body. And as you hear the discussions outside, let them continue. Don't try to fight them. But don't let yourself get pulled out and distracted by them. Thank you.